Hello there. This is a response video uh, to a challenge by my friend Flat Out Hero. In this video, he challenges us to get some flight charts for uh, the spherical Earth that equal 90 degrees at each turn and brings you back to the starting point. Here it is from him. So he's talking about a claim by round earthers that you can travel in a spherical equilateral right triangle on a globe. It's a triangle that has three 90 degree corners, something strange if you're familiar with two dimensional triangles where each uh, equilateral two dimensional triangle has three 60 degree angles. In a two dimensional triangle, all the angles must add up to 180, but in a three-dimensional spherical triangle, the sum of the angles is always at least 180 and 540 or less. It's, it's different depending on the size of the triangle. A spherical equilateral right triangle in particular has exactly 270 degrees. You can see a little bit here where they're talking about that. Um, in order to do that, each side of the triangle has to be one quarter of the entire circumference of the circle. So in this case, this one here, it would have to go all the way down halfway to the, the other uh, side here, come around here, and then come all the way back up here. So it's a pretty good size triangle on the, on the shape of a sphere. So if you believe the Earth is a sphere, then the circumference is 2,000 or 24,900 miles, or just over 40,000 kilometers. One quarter of this is 6,225 miles, or 10,000 kilometers. And being that 10,000 kilometers is a nice number to work with, I'll stick with the kilometers for the rest of this video. So in order to fulfill Flat Out Hero's challenge, Three flights need to be charted where each leg is 10,000 kilometers, totaling 30,000 kilometers for all three flights together. Now, pilots no longer use printed maps very much. Uh, most of their stuff is done on computer. The, the printed maps are cumbersome. They only represent a small area at a time because of distortions. And they get out of date pretty quickly. Different landmarks change, buildings are built that have uh, flashing lights on them. It's not on the new map. So now they use software, often on an iPad, to plot their, their, their flights, to plan them out and use the charts on the iPad. They even use this software to directly interface to the FAA, FAA or whatever other governing body needs to know about their flight plan. Now this software is pretty particular to pilots and it's expensive and if you're not a pilot, you don't really have much use for it. Um, but there are some websites that do a good job of, of providing these options and will even allow you to submit information to the FAA. Um, so 
that you can plan your flight on the software, use whatever waypoints you want to use, and submit it to the FAA and get approval for it on there. So uh, skyvector.com is one of these, and you can really use it if you're a pilot. They do it all the time to plot your flights. So I used it to plot out flights that are 10,000 kilometers long. Each point is a real airport, and each leg uses navigable waypoints. These flight plans could be submitted to the FAA right from the website. Uh, to make it realistic, I used uh, the, the stats from a 747-400. We used its real cruising speed, its fuel burn rate, max fuel capacity, and other performance information. So here is the first one that I planned out. It starts at LAX, goes down to Buenos Aires here. You can see now in Buenos Aires, it's going to make a right angle. This is 90 degrees right here, right? Then it's going to turn. Oh, you see this is right about 10,000 kilometers. It's a bit shy of 10,000. And it takes this right turn, goes straight up to Madrid. And you can see here, 20,000 kilometers it is just, again, just a tiny bit shy. This is the main airport in Madrid. Then it continues back after that 90 degree turn there up to LAX, totaling 29,247 kilometers. A little bit less than the 30,000 that we're shooting for, but within two and a half percent. Um, now, I was then reading the comment section in Flat Out Heroes video where a guy named Ruhi, Ruhi, uh, he wrote, he used some software to find the closest right, route using real airports. That one is even closer. And here it is. It starts in Hunixvag Airport in Norway. Then it goes down to Namibia. And we get there a long way. And in Namibia, right here at 10,000 kilometers, very closely, the airport is. Um, the airport is called Mokuti Lodge Airport in Namibia. Then it goes east to Indonesia. This is um, the, uh, let me try to get this right, Hanan Joding Airport in Indonesia. The airport code there is W-I-K-T. You can see it here if you want to try to pronounce it yourself. Then it travels back up to where it started. You can see every one of those has been a 90 degree turn. gets back to Honensvag Airport in Sweden again, and it is just on 30,000 kilometers. You can see there I moved it a little bit to the side, and, it, and it's a tiny bit off of 30,000 kilometers. So every one of those is 10,000 kilometers within a very small margin, and each of those is a 90-degree turn. So um, I, I plotted those all on Sky Vector, and I have saved all of the, the flight charts using um, as a PDF. It includes all the waypoints along the way. So each of these routes 
um, can be tested, can be put into um, flight software. And you can see here even the, the fuel usage, the time, everything there according to what I could find for 747-400. So each of these routes could be flown. Now, whether or not the airport is a, a uh, big enough airport, that's not really the question. The, the one in uh, Sweden looks pretty small, but uh, it, it's useful because there's real flight points and waypoints in airports. So if anybody wants these PDFs, I can provide them. Just let me know. Give me your email address in the comments, or we can contact, uh, uh, connect some other way. Um, so to make this video, I consulted with Planar Walk, who also has um, been looking at some stuff for Flat Out Hero, had a debate with him last week. Um, he has a route that uses, yet again, different airports with the added bonus that there are actually truly daily nonstop flights between the three airports. So you could, if you wanted, start in one and take your, your uh, trips to each of the three. Um, I'll let him share that if you want. Uh, so since I worked with Planar Walk and I used the airports identified by Ruhi, uh, should my entry be selected as the winner, I'd like to divide the prize equally. This is Planner Walk and Ruhi. Thank you very much.